What's going on, YouTubers? Heart Collector and Ethan Monster is not here, but our good buddy Carl is. What's up, Carl? It's the first episode of the Shady Show! Oh, yeah. oh, Shady oh, Show! Oh, Shady oh, yeah. Show! Oh, yeah. Guys, welcome to the very first episode of the Shady Show. Welcome to Carl's set. This is all yours, oh. Carl. You get the whole couch, you get to do whatever you want. This is our chance. <laughs> this is our chance for us to hang out talk with you guys about topics whatever we want to talk about Carl's stinky feet we can talk about anything and so this is a very very interesting topic that we have for today what's been going on in the pokemon community this is what carl wanted to bring up in the very first episode uh, a lot of people are mad about the new set about hidden fates mm -hmm. oh there are a lot of people upset about hidden fates and so to talk about hidden fates, da da da. I just happened to bring me and Ethan's collection so far, along with uh, the. Throw, it away. <laughs> throw you away. Uh. This is our collection right here of hidden fates. So we'll go ahead and crack it open. You guys can see the first page. This is hidden fates. In case you haven't been one, or in case you didn't know, or you've been living under a rock, there's been a lot of interesting news going on with hidden fates. Name one topic. We're gonna go off the list and go down everything about hidden fates so uh, if you guys are interested sit back kick back listen go ahead and comment down below if you think otherwise if you agree with us disagree with us this is your moment to be heard and we'll be addressing people's comments as you'll see in this video this is the best time for us to just sit take a break away from unboxings reviews and just have a talk with you guys on carl's little shady couch <laughs> all right carl first topic of hidden fates what do you want it to be go Oh, that's the main portion of it. I guess we'll go with that one. It is super hard to find. And if you could tell, let's start off with someone's comment. So if you check this out, the Pokemon Net, the Pokemon Net commented on our video, one of our last videos, my target don't have this. Do not have this. I guess you could say their target didn't get any shipments in. Me and Ethan went hunting everywhere i'm not kidding we went to GameStops, walmart's targets so i have to tell you i went to five targets across the past couple days nothing nothing carl I, I i kid you not not one hidden fate box not even an empty wrapper of the box anything i know that because i was spying on you <laughs> you're following me uh -huh. target seems to have not gotten it in that's just in our area remember i live in california um, whoever, wherever Pokemon Net lives in their area as well. Uh, that brings me to the next comment. So, Pyre Dynasty said, Meanwhile here, there isn't a store with this in stock for a 100 miles. So he must have went everywhere. And I kid you not, uh, George and Kathy, one of our best friends, they went to three targets, nothing. I had another friend, shout out to our friend Mark, he went to, I think he said, four targets in his area. He lives a little more north of where I am. Uh, like one game Nothing. Game. My sister lives up north. She went to go check out like two targets for me. I sent her a picture of what to look for. She doesn't know anything about Pokemon cards. Uh, she couldn't find anything anywhere. So to me, it seems like Target didn't get anything. Maybe in your area it did, which is why we want to hear from you. If you have found Hidden Fates at Target, uh, put your comment down below like what state it is. I'm curious where it got shipped. Um, there's another topic that brings me to, you ready, Carl? Mm -hmm. Uh, a shipment. So I, this is, this is something you guys were not going to hear on the news. This is why I wanted to have the shady show, uh, to be able to bring this up to you guys. So, you know, we are co-owners of Psycho Turtle Collectibles. Mm -hmm. Josh answers practically all the emails. So if you guys ever email the store, uh, business inquiries with the store, Josh handles all that. He's the main owner. Josh got an email from a, a main distributor. I'm not going to give any names or anything, but this is legit news. Uh, that a shipment, an uh, entire shipment, got accidentally sent on a boat to, it was either Sweden or Switzerland? Uh, something like that. But an entire, not a store shipment, an entire distribution shipment was accidentally placed on a boat and sent overseas and it has no tracking they have no whereabouts. They don't know if it's going to turn around. They don't know when it's going to come, if it's even going to come back. It could get lost in the boat. You never know what's going to happen overseas. It could fall off the boat. 
it could, the bolt could sink, God forbid. <laughs> I don't know. It could go into the Bermuda Triangle and disappear. That's where you're from, Carl. I bet you you're from the Bermuda Triangle. But it can disappear. So that's a shipment full of stuff. And I uh, got a lot of messages from people that their card shops, even other card shops, were messaging us asking if we can give them orders to fulfill. Uh, I had people message me that their eBay pre-orders got canceled. Um, eBay sellers weren't able to fulfill their orders. If Target, this is why I'm making the connection. If Target made an order, I don't know where they get it. If they made an order that was sent on that boat, that could explain why Target doesn't have anything. Or at least everything, uh, nothing here in California. So what are your guys' feedback on that story? The email is absolutely true. I'm not lying to you guys. Um, this video is for a big reason why I wanted to do this video. But one is to explain that there's a shortage. Right, Carl? Mm -hmm. GameStop. Here's the next story. We went to three GameStops. My friend George went to two, and I think Mark went to like three or four. He, that guy's a trooper. He went everywhere. I found a couple. I found a couple hidden fates. One GameStop literally only got one in, and it was on hold for another customer. I went to the GameStop, walked in. Do you have any? She opened the drawer and literally pulled out one box. And I said, did you guys get any more in? And she said, no. All they were sent is one box. My friend George went to another GameStop. That GameStop was only sent two. Two little boxes. Two pin collections. So I don't know what is up with GameStop, but they were getting like the tiniest shipments. At least they got something. Target didn't get anything. Walmart. Back to the Walmart story. It feels like there's only one shipment like every, like one whole case sent to every like store. Yeah, you got a good shipment at your store. Carl got his shipment from Psycho Turtle. So, Walmart. We've gone to so many Walmarts. I went to a couple Walmarts, and all I found was empty, hidden uh, Fates trays. The little trays that hold the actual set. Carl, do you know what tray I'm talking about? You want to go uh, grab it? Yeah, I'll go grab it. Real quick. He's offset. <laughs> There's the tray. You guys will see that at Walmart. Walmart actually puts it out in the tray. Look for that. I found a couple empty ones. George found an empty one. Mark found an empty one. And Monkey, TK3 Monkey, shout out to him. He texted me as well. He went to, I think, like three Walmarts today or at the time of filming this. He went to like three Walmarts and only found uh, an empty box. Poor guy. <laughs> he found an empty box. The pools have been good. So should we talk about that? I think we're over the shortage. I think you guys get the idea. Psycho Turtle, we got our first shipment. They said you can pick up half of it now, Thursday or Friday, something like that. We picked up our first shipment, and it sold out immediately. Then we were able to go later on and pick up another like shipment of what they had left over. And literally, we had like 40 people standing at the shop waiting for it to come in. Everyone came in waiting, and we sold it immediately i didn't even get to have a chance to get any more i wanted to grab some more and guys i'm like a co-owner and i didn't even get to get it because we felt so bad that we turned away a ton of people like 20 people walked away not being able to get it so that's insane that all those people tried other card shops in our area and no one else got it as well uh none of the other shops so that's insane i don't know what the story is why the other shops didn't get it um, but this is a California problem as of now until you guys speak out and say otherwise. Because I don't know the guys that left those if comments. We're in, if we're in Switzerland and Sweden, get them. <laughs> Switzerland and Sweden is going to have a whole bunch. <laughs> but I don't know. That's just as of right now. I don't know the people that left those comments, what state they're from. Who knows? They're probably from California too. But as of right now, that's why there's a shortage. Second topic, Carl. Should we talk about the price value? Yeah. Oh, this is why the set is doing super well. So if you're wondering why Hidden Fates is so hot, should we go over the cards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and talk. So here's the cards. There is a lot of sought-after characters in here. You guys will see a lot of base set Pokemon. Look at Caterpie, Metapod, Butterfree, just on the first page. Mostly the whole page. They're all base set. They're, they're all base set. <laughs> I'm like, mostly, they're all base set, which is why a lot of original OG collectors love this set because it's a lot of Pokemon that they grew up. The nostalgia factor is through the roof. Nostalgia raises value. That's one thing. Second thing we should talk about is pull rates are really good. People are getting like Mewtwo on top of a, a shiny. 
So the pool rates are really good. So people are coming up with a lot of extras. And a lot of people are buying them. They're just buying the extras right now. Because I guess they can't get their hands on it themselves. But this is our entire collection as of right now. Ooh. This is our whole set right now. And it's small. The actual set. This is what's crazy, huh, Carl? Mm -hmm. What's crazy about this set? The shiny set, the whole shiny vault set is bigger than the subset. <laughs> the shiny, yeah, you guys got that? The shiny vault collection is actually bigger than the actual set itself. The actual set only goes to 68 as the shiny set. Right here, Ooh. this is the last card. That's the last card right there? Mm -hmm. That's the last card for the actual set. Then uh, Ethan put the, what is it, energies here. Mm -hmm. Then over here, he put the promos. And then starting here, this is where Ethan is starting the Shiny Vault collection. Look how many we need. These are all cars that we need. And it goes all the way to... These are all the Shinies that we have. And then, oh, wow. Magnemite and Magnezone. Is this Magneton? That'd be crazy. Maybe. No, it's probably like Lucario or something like that. <laughs> and then... Oh, no, Lucario's over there. We got all these. Ooh, the shoe eye. Look how big the Shiny Vault collection is. It keeps going. All the way. Cynthia's part of the shiny vault? Yeah. Wow. I didn't even know yeah, that. That's where I am. Wow. Ethan see. put this whole binder together. And then Cynthia. Ooh, one of the best cards. Look how many we're missing. We're going to try to complete this whole entire set. I've been super excited about this set more than others. So I know if I'm excited about this set, there's a lot of other people excited as well. I know you guys are. You guys can comment down below that. But this set, look at the legendary birds. So. The nostalgia factor is what's raising the value of the cards. The rarity. So, shout out to, let's see. Shout out to Darium. You know Darium's channel? Because mm -hmm. uh, Mark, Mark, his son was watching Darium's channel. And he's the one that told me. They pulled one Cynthia out of a thousand packs. And I think three Charizards. No! <laughs> three Charizards out of a thousand packs. So, if you think about it, the odds of getting Cynthia are like one in a thousand. And then the gold. The odds of getting um, those, I didn't even, I don't even know about the gold, the Shrine of Punishment. I don't know. Um, then that means Charizard is like one in 333 packs. So that's the set right there. So Charizard is going for like 350 to $400. That Cynthia right there wow. is going for like 110 somewhere around there, 100 to 110 But this was crazy. The old Cynthia didn't even go for that much. How does the alternate art reprint go for more than the original? Oh, that's a good answer. That is a very good answer. It has better art, but that is insane. Alternate arts usually never go for more than the original. So that is insane. So that's another reason why this set is so in demand. The cards are very valuable. Um, what else? The gold cards are like 75 bucks, somewhere around there. The gold cards, the the, the, the Lele and the Fini. Fini, those are like $75. So this set, you're getting your money back, which means people are paying more for it because they feel they're getting their money back. And that's what I mean by value. Guys, this is why I need to tell you about this video. This is why we wanted to do this video. Carl, on eBay, how much are people spending for um, a pin collection box? Like, like, I don't know, like $300. <laughs> that feels like it. $30. You were close. Take off one zero. People are paying double. Guys, the MSRP on those things is only like $14.99 and Walmart has them listed online for $12.99. We had them at Psycho Turtle. We sold out at $12.99. And the whole cases, the whole eight? Yeah, the whole eight. Don't don't even get me on that one. The whole case, people are selling it for like $225. So if you do the math, it's still like $30. It's like about 30 bucks each. They're selling for double. Guys, don't. Uh, oh, man. All right. How do I say this? I'm going to get hate. Don't pay stop. <laughs> don't pay carl's price i'm gonna get hate when we did the ultra prism video and talked about how pokemon stopped pre we got so much hate i don't know why you can never please everyone we're gonna get hate right now for what i'm about to say don't pay scalper price just wait the reason why i say just wait those pin collections are not the only thing that hidden face is gonna come out in there's gonna be pins yeah elite trainer boxes yeah and I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Premium collections like oh, uh, the Rayquaza. The Pokeball boxes. And then the Pokeball collections. There's an Ultra Ball and a Great, Great Ball. Ball. Yeah, there you go. And then there's three tins coming out. There's a Charizard, Gyarados. No! <laughs> and 
and Raichu tin that are going to have packs in it. Elite trainer boxes that come with 10 packs inside. Those are all coming. Just wait, guys. Just wait. We're going to have like at Cycle Turtle, we're going to carry a bunch of them. We are already able to order more. Hopefully that shipment doesn't get sent on a boat. Other card shops will be able to get it. Your, your local card shops, your Walmart should get those in. I don't see why Target would not carry um, the Elite Trainer Boxes. Target is usually always good with Elite Trainer Boxes. But I knew this was going to happen, guys. I got a, I got comments about, oh, why are you guys buying so many pin collections? I knew this was going to happen because it happened with uh, Dragon Majesty. Remember the Latios and Latias pin collections? Oh, yeah. Pokemon didn't print enough of those, and they sold out in our area, at least. In our area. Your area, you probably don't have Pokemon collectors as frequent. Remember, we're in crowded places ever. So, Dragon Majesty flew off the shelves in those pin collections. And so, I was telling Monkey, because Monkey has his YouTube channel too, make sure you stock up on pin collections, because I have a huge feeling they're, they're going to short it. Because uh, Target never ordered a lot of those pin collections. So I knew already, and Target this time didn't even order any, so or didn't get their order. I don't know what happened. If you guys work for Target, like I said, this is the best time for us to talk to you guys and be one-on-one -on -one with you guys, be real with you guys. But I'm telling you, wait for more Hidden Fates to come out. As more people pull Charizard, as more people pull Cynthia, the price will go down. Don't worry. I don't think Charizard will stay at $350, $400. Yes! He <laughs> Now I can afford to buy you another one, Carl. I'll buy you one. No! But guys, it, it, they'll drop a little bit as more people pull them. So just wait. Be patient. I know it is super hard to be patient. Uh, especially the set is so much fun to open with two GXs in a pack and the characters that you love and Jesse James. <laughs> but guys, just wait. Please be patient. And I know a lot of places are going to like give me hate right now because they want to scalp you. They want to charge you double. Um... Me and Josh even had this talk. Josh was even asking, like, dude, people are selling it for $30 on eBay. And he brought it up. I'll be completely honest with you guys. He brought it up, like, should we raise the price? And I, I, I'm going to be honest. I, I think the last batch, we sold it at MSRP of uh, $14.99. We put it at $14.99. And that was the last batch. We raised it, like, 2 bucks, which was, we had already lowered it 2 bucks. So we just put it back to its normal price. I don't like the scalping game if i ever get something i will sell it for either what i paid for a friend or just to cover the cost of something i don't know the shipping whatever i don't like the scalping game i don't know i feel it hurts the community more it kind of drives people away and for like dads with kids and like me and ethan and carl do you have any kids uh, no yeah well you'll get one sooner or later baby carl <laughs> You have your popcorn. Imagine what if popcorn was $30 a bag. Would you be able to eat as much? I'd still buy it. Yeah, of course you would. You'd be broke. You already can't afford shoes. Like, imagine. But guys, I don't know. The scalping game, that's a whole nother issue. Maybe that's another topic for another video. Well, you guys could put your comments, what you think about it, what you feel about it. Is Hidden Fates in your area? Let us know in the comments down below. Um, but just stay away from scalper prices right now, guys. I'm honest with you. Uh, more stuff is going to come out down the road. Just wait. The premium collection with, with uh, Rayquaza looks amazing. And those Pokeballs, the Great Ball, Ultra Ball. Oh, my gosh. Those collections are going to be amazing. The Elite Trainer Box is going to be crazy. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? Hidden Fates. Change. No, what else do we have to cover? That, that's product. New products coming out. Hold your horses. On buying overpriced stuff. The shortage right now. We covered that. The nostalgia factor is real. Price. Target didn't even get it. The value of the cards is up there. So I think that's basically everything you kind of need to know about Hidden Fates. Um, the next tins are coming out September 6th, I believe. Right, Carl? Is that when you're getting your shipment? Uh, A yeah. little sooner, maybe? Uh, I gotta see. <laughs> All right, check his, uh, his uh, manifesto and see when it comes in. But guys, just wait. Uh, what else are your thoughts? We need to know your thoughts. That way we could have proper talk with you guys. Is there anything about this set you want to discuss? Playability. What about playability? I know people are mad about the bulk because the cards aren't that playable. Um, I've been hearing people comment that they don't like the playability. And I was I was going over that as well. A lot of the GXs have like the most minimalist writing possible. Look at this. 
Even the pincer. Where's the pincer in front? This is like really minimal. There's not much they do. Not a flip of heads and it's time something else. So they did keep it very minimalistic. And I kind of, except that one. I kind of feel they did that to just hook collectors. There's collectors out there. Look, it just looks really, really cool. Hardly any writing. Um, I feel like collectors just care about the cards. They don't really care about all the writing and the attacks. They just care about the art. And so if you love Mewtwo, but you don't know how to play or you don't care about playing, that's a perfect card for you. Because it doesn't really have much and it doesn't take away from the detail of the card. Look how they made the art like actually pop out of the entire card now. They're all coming out of the card. See that? That's insane. Carl, anything else you want to talk about Hidden Face before we go? Um, I don't think so. This is your show, Carl. I've been talking your whole show, Carl. This is your show. You're supposed to tell everybody about everything. Making me talk you down. <laughs> There's a shortage on uh, Carl's shoes. Oh, yeah. And uh, Carl, what if there was a shortage on popcorn? Oh, no. <laughs> but guys, this is the Shady Show. This is where we can actually talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one about discussions, news, topics, um, just heartfelt comments that we want to get out there um interviews that would be awesome carl if we could get someone to sit right down here With next donald to you trump. yeah like donald trump <laughs> who do you guys want to see us interview oh maybe we could get someone from pokemon down here to talk to us Ooh, Ooh that'd be crazy who knows if you guys know someone or you want to be on the shady show and you have a good reason to why you want to appear on the shady show leave your comments down below maybe we'll go through comments one day and just be like Hey, this person sounds really cool to be on our show. We should fly them out here. Oh, if you guys have interesting stories to tell, we could possibly use you on the Shady Show to come help us out. All right, but I think that's basically it we're going to cover. Um, I hope you guys love the Shady Show. I hope you guys like hearing us talk to you guys about what we want to get off our chest and talk about. We don't get to talk like this on um, unboxing videos, uh, reviews, when we go out vlogging. Uh, when I'm messing around with Carl, when we're doing skits and all that, I don't have the time to actually talk to you guys. Trust me, I read a lot of comments. Me and Carl, too. You go through a lot of comments with me, huh? Mm -hmm. We read, uh, like, oh my gosh, I want to say like 90% of the comments. We read a lot. There's some that fly under the radar. There's some that get held for spam. I don't get a chance to see those. Some just, I don't know, YouTube probably deletes it. Who knows? There's some I don't see, but I see a lot of them and we read them. I don't have time to get to every single comment. To reply? Yeah, to reply. Because remember, I'm also getting emailed, Instagrammed, Facebooked, and hit up at the store. I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages. So don't think I'm ignoring you guys. I read all your comments. I read every email. And I tr yeah, I try to heart as much. I haven't been able to heart as much as much anymore. As much as much anymore? Much, much. <laughs> much, much, much. Yeah. I don't get to do that as much anymore because I'm so busy, guys, with handling my job, uh, handling the store, handling YouTube, handling Carl's shadiness. That's a full-time job right there. <laughs> Carl's like, did you just insult me? Carl, anything you want to tell him right now? This is your chance to talk to them. Uh, so, I'm gonna, so what he said. Oh, what I said. Oh, I thought this was a shady show. This is my show now? <laughs> it's the Heart Collector and Shady Show. But guys, we love talking to you guys. Leave all your comments, good or bad. Um, good or bad, we don't care. Leave all the comments you want. Um, Leave a lot of shady comments. We'll take it into consideration. I don't get offended by anything that anybody says. It's always a misunderstanding on their part if they think you're less of them or something. I don't know. I don't know how to best describe it yet in this video. It's coming up in another video. Another shady show. We have to talk about that. But you guys can say whatever you want. I'm not going to get offended. Um, and then it actually might open our eyes to certain things. You never know. It could change your outlook on things. Say whatever you want and then bring news to our attention. If there's something crazy going on that we might not have heard of or know of, tell us. Cause remember, we're only living like in a small little part of California and you guys are probably like, I don't know. Who knows? You guys live on the street in New York City, right on the street, <laughs> like a boat with Carl. Who knows? <laughs> Carl, what do they got to do, Carl? Keep up with the Shady Show. Oh, keep up with the Shady Show. I didn't know what you said the last time. Keep up with the Shady Show. Yeah, guys, we'll catch you guys. This has been the very first official video of the Shady Show. We love each and every single one of you guys. We'll see you guys in more Shady Shows. You guys got to hit that like, though, to bring more videos. Right, Carl? Mm -hmm. Tell them to do it.
Do it! Do it now! Smash it! Smash it! <laughs> Alright guys, we'll catch you guys in another Shady Show video. Bye everybody! Bye!